Wednesday. House. Wow. Just see the movie. I can't believe what I saw. Even after seeing it a second time, I still can't believe it. And I need to see it again because I don't know how I'm going to review it. So don't consider this a review. Consider it more like an awareness. This is an easy film to miss because of its generic title, House. For years, people have recommended it to me, and I must have thought they were talking about House from 1986. There's also a film called House from 2008, and they're all horror films. If you look for this, make sure it's the one from 1977, from Toho. Yes, the company that created Godzilla. But this makes even the weirdest ones like Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster seem normal. If I describe the plot, even then it sounds generic. It's about a group of girls who go on a trip and stay at a house, which turns out to be haunted. Sort of. It doesn't sound like anything special, but this is as special as it gets. It's not even a full horror film. There's horror scenes, but the majority is sort of a mixed genre of all kinds of different tones. The film changes mood at the flick of a switch. It's all over the place. One minute, it's lighthearted and cute. Then there's blood, severed limbs, and weird lightning effects. There's a decapitated head biting a girl on the rear end. There's a girl who gets eaten by a piano. There's a skeleton dancing around by strings. A glowing cat jumping out of a painting. Blood spurts. Heads float. But somehow, it keeps going back to that cute, childish tone. Supposedly, the director asked his preteen daughter what she thought would be scary, so some of the ideas actually come from a child, and it's appropriate because it looks like a nightmare from a child's perspective. On the technical side, this is an incredibly ambitious film for 1977. It's crazy how many different camera tricks they use. There's backdrop paintings, blue screen, animation, and sometimes what looks like cutout animation. It's like a moving magazine collage. It uses almost every kind of special effect that there is. The backdrop paintings especially look beautiful. It's so well made, you'd wonder why isn't this a well-known classic other than for the reason that it's so offbeat. Well, apparently it was a box office hit when it came out in Japan, but the critical reviews were negative, and afterwards it got kind of swept under the rug. Only in recent years was it rediscovered and released on DVD by the Criterion Collection, which typically puts out films that are considered masterpieces, like the Kurosawa films, so it's more confirmation that this is a very noteworthy film. I do have to say, lots of it is very slow. In the first half hour, there's not much exciting happening, and all the really crazy parts mostly happen after the one hour mark. So you might find large portions of it to be boring, but I say, stick with it. It's a shame that it's called House, and not something that will catch your attention better. This is a film that when you see it, you'll wonder, why haven't you seen it earlier? 